Hey guys, this is Jake back with another Angular tutorial. If you like these videos, feel free to hit the like button below. It will really help out the channel. Um, so to get started, today we're going to add mock services to our app. And this will let us run the whole front end without even having a back end set up. So you can anticipate what the back end will provide and create your components around that. And then once the back end is set up, it should just work as long as you map the data correctly. So we can go over all that. So to get started, create a new Angular application, and you can create these services like I have. I just have a basic model, a to-do model, um, which is a TypeScript interface with whatever you want in here. Um, you don't have to copy my exact models or services. Um, so I have a model, and then I created a service, to to-do service, and this imports the HTTP client, and then this get to do's method will make a call to the API with the endpoint to do, and it's going to return a list of all of our to do's. So currently in my home component, I have a list of to do's, and then on init, we call the to do service, get all to do's, and then set our class variable to that response here. And then in my HTML page here, I set, check to see if the to do's are, exist, and if they do, we loop over them and display them on the page. If not, we'll just say loading. And of course you could do other error checking here if the to-dos don't come back. Um, so if it's not set, but there was an error, then you would show like an error message or something. So this is what it looks like currently. So um, you could ignore this. This is just where I set up my routing. So loading to-dos. And you'll see, you'll notice that it's failing because I don't have a backend running. So not found. It should be error response. So this is where it would be helpful to have an error message here. Okay, so to get started, we can go ahead and add an interface. So wherever you have your service, let's create a new file, todo.service.interface. And we'll export a new interface. Now we can call i to do service. And this might, might, might not make sense immediately, but once we get started, um, hopefully it'll all come together. So in your service currently, you probably have some methods. So let's copy those methods into the interface what you have to begin with. Ideally, we would create this interface before we created the service, but in this case, we, if you have services set up and you, you want to add an interface afterwards, you can just copy the methods with the return types. So we have get to dos which returns an observable that resolves to a list of to-dos. So let's take this interface, go to our to-do service, and implement it. Make sure we meet all the requirements. It looks like nothing is throwing an error, so we're all set. Okay, so this is all good. And let's go ahead and copy this to-do service. So copy and paste it, and we could rename it. Let's say to-do.mock.service. And this is where we're going to actually use return mock data. So we'll implement the same exact interface, but instead of making a call to the backend, we're just going to return fake to-dos. So I'll show you how to set this up with the plumbing for development production. Um, but to get started, let's just remove the HTTP client. You can remove the import as well. And then here, where we return the to-dos, instead of the observable, um, we could say of, which is our RxJS operator, which will let you return observable with a statically with the static data here. So uh, we want to return to do so each to do needs an ID. We'll just say one name. Um, let's say homework day added. Today is eleven and status not done. And you could add a couple more to make it a little bit more realistic, say, do work. So I added this yesterday in progress. And we could add a return type here if you want just to be more explicit. Just return what's up to do's. And that's pretty much it for the mock service. So now that we have we have our main service, which, which makes the actual HTTP request for production, 
We have the interface that connects both of them to make sure that they're both meeting the same criteria. And then we have our mock service, which has the same exact methods as our real service, but just returns fake data. Um, so it's really important to use the types and to use an interface, because otherwise when we do the replacement, it might not match or mesh 100% with the, with the mock versus the real one. And then you can, could run into some problems. Um, so make sure you use models for all your data and then an interface for the services, both the real and mock. So now that we have that set up, we'll see that we're still getting this error. So that's because we didn't actually replace the production with development when we're running this locally. So to do that in our environments here, we have an environment prod and an environment, the normal one, which is not production. So in here, clear some of this comment stuff. And we can add an additional providers array here on both of them. So when we're in running this locally, it's going to use this environment variable. And there's a replacement in AngularJSON by default that will switch to this file when you're running in production. So let's add that to both providers array. And in our development version, we don't really have to do anything because we want we could default to the mock. But in production, we want to make sure we switch the mock with the real one. So we say provide, and then we'll provide to do service. And that will import here. And we, we want to replace the mock one. So we'll import the mock, and we could give us an alias. So we'll say as mock to do service. And then we'll use class and we'll use the actual to-do service. So this is saying take the mock to-do service and then use the class to-do service, the, re the real one. And this is in our environment production file. So we could have this providers here just so the types are the same in the environments. And then in our app module, you can, in this providers array, we'll say, environment so it's going to be your um, non-prod one so just the environment that providers and that will swap out the the providers based on the environment so now that we have that set up let's make sure in our components in all your components you want to make sure you're using the mock services now so instead of the to do service we'll say to do dot mock that service and if we did everything correctly. We'll see that our to-do show up now. And this is pretty much it. Um, so to kind of recap, we created our initial service, which makes it con uh, connected to the back end to get the to-dos. We took out all their methods and put them in this interface with the return types and the models to make sure that the data is all um, set in this interface to make sure that when we use this interface in the mock service, both the mock and the real service align 100%. And then we made this mock service implement all the methods in the interface and return just fake data. So you can use like a generator and make like random data or you can just have static data. Um, but for now, this, this should uh, be good. So we have that and you could add like additional methods here, like add to do, and then you could keep in a, in a right here, like a, a state, just so you could practice like what, or see what would happen if you add delete and stuff like that. And then here, instead of, of this, you would say of to-dos. So for example, um, just quickly, I'll review something, some, something that may have that kind of scenario. So if you want to initialize everything with these to-dos, so we'll say return of to-dos. That will return that, and then um, we could say like add to do, which should give you a to do, and of course you have to add, add this to your interface, and then add it to the real one as well. Um, and it's not really supported on the front end, but as an example, um, this would say to do stop push to do, and this will add to this array. And then on your front end, after you add one, you just have to make sure you reload the to dos, and you'll get the updated set. So that will emulate being in the real system for the back end. So I hope this all makes sense. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment.
And if you like this video and my other videos, feel free to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.